Hey friends, welcome to Scene TV. I am Marcus and sitting alongside of me on the couch today is star of Singing in the Rain, the musical, Gretel Scarlet. Gretel, welcome to the sofa. Thank you so much for having me. And welcome back to Adelaide. <laughs> yes, it's so exciting to be here. I love the city. Isn't it great? It's yeah. fun. It's um, an we've got a good city. buzz. Yeah, it really does. It has a real um, theatrical vibe to it. You guys really support the arts and that's one thing it's always beautiful to come back to. You know, you're going to get decent audiences and you guys are really going to enjoy what we bring. We lap it up. <laughs> When's the last time we saw you? You saw me uh, 2014, around September 2014 as Sandy in Greece. Sandy, ah, oh, with Rob Mills. Yeah, Mr. Uh -huh. Rob Mills. Yeah, yep. he was my Danny. Did so you enjoy that show? I loved it. Yeah, it was good fun. It's such a good jukebox musical and it's something, it's, it's so iconic. Everyone knows something about that musical, whether it be the Grease Lightning or, you know, the hand jive. You go from one extreme to the other and they all appreciate it. Well, I saw it and I thought it was amazing. Oh, fantastic. Um, I may have been the one singing in the balcony. <laughs> Not to my, hopelessly I was devoted. The one singing in the balcony. Well, uh, all of them, darling. All you guys of them. were probably the best Saturday night karaoke audience I had in the whole really? of Australia. Yeah, there was one particular night and it was overwhelming. <laughs> it's that show and Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh, I just can't sit still. Don't. Rocky it's Horror. Like, people sitting next to me hate me. <laughs> oh, it's so amazing. I, lo I love those ones. That's the thing is it's, it's audience participation. We don't mind. Like when you're performing shows like that in that style, the more you guys get involved, the better, because we walk away from it knowing we've done our job. We've made your night, so. <laughs> exactly. Well, you know how, you know what, honey, that is the past. Mm. We're talking about the future. Yeah. Let's talk about Singing in the Rain. Yeah. Iconic movie, yep. iconic role. How excited are you? It's fantastic. It's, it, you know, made famous by Debbie Reynolds, who is such an incredible talent herself. Um, it's actually... Uh, quite a compliment to be able to fill the shoes of her. Um, it's a little bit different to, um, as I say, filling the shoes of what Sandy was, Olivia Newton-John. Um, it's nice to go into a role that has a little bit more you can play with in terms of sort of scope. Uh, but it's amazing to be able to get out there and sing, dance and act. Three things I really wanted to do since I was four and trained really hard to do. So it's nice to showcase it and it, it is very exciting every single night. And gallons of water I hear. <laughs> I have not 000. had any sneak peeks at all, but I've heard there's a lot of water. 12,000 litres yeah. of it and it's recycled wow. every show. We've got huge tanks side stage, big like nine tonnes. Awesome. And the pipes go up and under and there's drains in the stage that flood. It's Yeah, it's quite exciting Can't for wait the to see it. Can't yeah. wait to see it. It. Um, now, I mean, massive heartthrob, Adam Garcia. Unfortunately, yes. oh. he's not coming to Adelaide. I know. But replaced by another one, yeah. um, Jack Chambers, correct? No, actually, it's a, no. Jack, Jack Chambers plays the Donald O'Connor role. He plays Cosmo Brown. He's oh, okay. incredible. So, so who's the leading actor? We lost, um, when, when we lost Adam Garcia, we yep. actually had to fly in Grant Almerell from South Africa, who oh, okay. is our international don. But he shares the role four shows a week. We had a, have a second one now that also comes in Rowan Brown. Yep. Um, he's from Melbourne, Melbourne-based actor. So they, they, I get a different Don every show. <laughs> Why not? You know. I know. I'm like, who's who's gonna lift me today? Yeah. Who, who am I kissing today? <laughs> it keeps you on the edge, yeah. doesn't it? You yeah, know what? Nothing like a good challenge. Totally. <laughs> who's the best kisser? Oh God. You they, can't say. I can't say. <laughs> um, darling, tell me one of your big career highlights. Look, one of my career highlights was actually unplanned and it was at the um, performance uh, at Kristen Chenoweth's concert in Melbourne at I heard Hammer about Hall. this. Yeah, I know, it was so random. Um, she usually chooses a, just a, a random person in the audience. It's usually about a 16-year-old girl who's, you know, hoping to be something. Um, and so she, yeah, she gets them to come up and sing For Good, the duet from Wicked. Um, and a friend next to me at the time, she shouted out that there was an elf of an understudy sitting next to her and she was like, what? <laughs> so she called me up onto the stage and I got to sing the duet for good How with her, exciting. which was random and also nerve wracking, but also probably one of the best nights of my life because I didn't get time to think about it. Is there a video of that? Is it on YouTube? There's, there's YouTube, there's an audio because of course it was, it was illegal, quiet, you know, quiet. she didn't want any filming of the show. So someone... Someone got an audio very sneakily wow. and it's interesting to sit there and go, oh God, that's right. It's funny to listen back if you go on there. And <laughs> that is brilliant. Yeah, I was very lucky. Um, what's a role that you still wish to play? Is there a big dream job out there somewhere? Uh, as look, aside from the obvious ones as you get older, like the Mama Rose and like Gypsy or something like that. Like the, but I mean, it's time say that that's, comes back. Uh, yeah, I know. I would love Gypsy, yeah, and to play someone even at my age now, like Louise or something, or June in it. It's just a, an amazing show itself. 
Um, I think something more modern these days that I would love to get my hands a hold of um, is Elsa in Frozen, which they're workshopping overseas and I would love them to bring to Australia. They will. Yeah, well, I hope so. It will happen. I just think, that, yeah, it's a, it's a dream role. It's that sort of, it's a mix of everything that I wanted to sort of do. Splendid. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a, a dream role. Favourite song you've ever sung on the stage? What's that? Look, it's... It's very strange, but I had so much fun, and it's a real special song to me to sing. Hopelessly devoted to you was one one of my, one of my favourite songs to sing. The arrangement that was in Greece, I don't know if you remember, um, if you recall, it was rewritten with lots of sort of runs in it, and it was you could get fancy with it, and it was different to what Olivia Newton John did, but not different enough to upset the audience, or almost different to impress them. Um, so I always have so much. Uh, I had. Yeah, an incredible time singing that. It just, I don't know, and I still do. It's a very special song. More yeah. so at home now. Yes. Right in the lounge room. Yeah, just <laughs> all Which the time. Fine. Could you imagine just me just belting it out? When your parents come around. In ages. <laughs> when you go shopping, can you imagine like you're in my just, just like, like ba, da. Ba. yeah. I actually do that. I do that. I'm not. I'm not a performer. No, it is. It's. But that's I mean, why that's my so friends don't go shopping with me. They're like avoid. I'm a solo shopper. Okay, can I? Can you guys come shopping with me? I no, do. Yeah, I do sorry. amazing numbers on the escalators because we all have a grand staircase. Bring don't it we? home. Bring I it know, home. right? Yeah, just get out. Maybe your you and I. Maybe later. Let's do run the mall. Yes. It'll be fun. Ooh. We can do a number on top of the mall's walls. You've got to set it up one day. Done. All right. <laughs> sort that out. Sort get that done. out. Um, hey, just for kicks, tell yes. me the biggest disaster that's ever happened to you on stage. Oh, look, the, apart from the most recent one where you're falling over in the rain, but I mean, it's, everyone's sort of falling over in the rain these days. Um, it's quite a popular thing. Um, in Wicked, we have two benches that came onto the stage and I was the last, I had to, in my ensemble plot, jump over the bench. And one day, the person who jumped before me made the bench jump out of the track so it was loose. And so I've gone to jump on it and it's moved. And so I've stacked it over the bench, gone forward on myself. Everyone else is in a freeze. And here I am just face plant on the ground. Like my hands were completely, and I was just oh, on the no. ground looking up to the point where Lucy Jurak and Gemma Ricks, the Glinda and Elf had turned around in the middle of their song and just were like, oh my God, like here I am on the ground looking at them like, sorry, I stole your moment. <laughs> I'm like, and it just absolutely winded me and all the boys were like, what do we do? That was probably the most disastrous because I was face planted on the ground. I love it. Yep. So, um, Singing in the Rain. Yes. December the 1st, it appears in Adelaide, doesn't yes, it? Yes, yes. At the Festival Centre. Yes. Get on it. And how long is the period? Um, um, we're only, we're here for a limited season right up until just before Christmas. Okay, beautiful. So you've got to get in and get your tickets because we can't come back. And then off you trot to Perth. Yes. Is it? Perth, we've got another season over there. Is it Perth? the last leg of it? Yes, that would be the last cool. for Australia. Yep. So get on it, guys. Um, tickets available through Adelaide Festival Centre. Yep. Um, we've been with Gretel Scarlett. Thank you so much. You're an Thanks, absolute Sammy. pleasure. Cheers. Um, and I'll see you at the Mall's Balls very shortly. Yes, call me. You've been watching CTV. <laughs> we'll see you again really soon for more.